Sunday morning here at the Joe Dumars Fieldhouse. We're having our very first Detroit Handball Club full court practice. We got the 3v3 thing going, which is a little bit more fun, a little bit more relaxed in school, but with the national championship coming to Detroit May this year, we're gonna need to field a national championship caliber team. So today we have Frederick Green, a coach from a Swedish club called IFK Tumba and he's gonna be leading a practice today. Sort of a open tryout of sorts. We're just seeing who's in the Detroit area, who's interested in playing full court. I want to be here and help Detroit handball develop. Uh, handball in the US is not like in Europe. We have a long way to go. We have a challenge both with facilities and players. You have to find players, both in youth and older guys who want to play and girls. Thank you so much for coming out, all you guys. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, and today's our first step, so. We had a lot of like experienced people. We had a lot of guys who like grew up playing handball. We had a lot of just athletes. Like, you know, like, one stop since I came to the U.S. I used to play handball back in Asia. I played there for seven years. I'm just an athlete, so I'm down to try. Here, you have to go back. Really, I mean, for me, it was all about trying to learn how to speak English. At home, they don't deliver uh, engineering degrees unless you speak English. Right? I had to find a way to learn, and the best way for me was to go overseas. I ended up here because of it, and I then I met a woman. She's kept me here ever since. It was not around. Uh, the first club that I found was in Chicago. I was told that maybe I should even start something, but I, I didn't have the time. And, and I grew up playing that sport. He, he, he described it perfectly. He said, I've got to play in your stomach. Because it reminds you of uh, what you were doing when you were 10. The smell, exactly. the noises, I mean, I, I, the ball. Oh yeah, we play soccer. Because that's the only thing we know besides handball. I've been playing soccer for 13 years, and now I'm going to come switch back to handball. Yeah. Catch the ball, you can start with or it's taking three steps, then you can choose to pass or start dribbling, bouncing the ball. If you start bouncing the ball, you're allowed to pick it up and take three more steps. Then you have to pass to shoot. Then you can start dribbling again. They don't know it. Like the Americans. What do they think about that when you show them? Like it's very spectacular, that's what they say. It's a little bit complicated like, in terms of rules. It's very interesting to watch handball, even though you don't understand anything, but... It's high scoring. Yeah, it's never like monotone. It's like one team like gets four goals in a row, then the other team gets back and then... And then you make like a yeah. cool save, yeah. like there's a lot yeah. going on. Right, yeah. We're a little rusty, we gotta work on it. That's why we're practicing. We're starting. <laughs> I think it was uh, very fun to see some potential in players to be able to play handball. That's good. You have a base or foundation to start with, and everyone is having a good attitude for the game. The future looks good if you just keep them coming, the players. Right now, when we're starting, like the national championship is gonna be here. So, you know, you don't have to go to Texas or California. Not done yet. We're just starting. We're just starting. It went, it went great today. I had no idea how many people were going to come out. And from what we just had today, we've got a solid squad. One of the big battles we have to fight is showing people what handball even is. It's not really on people's minds, but the sport has something to prove. The city of Detroit has something to prove. It's just a cool time to be both in Detroit and in the sport of handball. Uh, this is the first of several sort of open tryouts. If you're interested in playing handball, whether it's full court, 3v3, beer league, um, or just watching, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, shoot us an email, visit our website. I think with uh, the people we have and the vision and the goals and the, the work we're about to do, we can make some great stuff happen. One, two, three, Detroit! Detroit!